very good afternoon, my name is Benjamin and welcome to the first episode of Time Challenge. In these videos I'm challenged to turn a given number of images into a good looking edit inside a time limit. Every video I'll choose an artist via Instagram who may pick the images for me and they have two options. One, making it very easy for me by finding images that match each other pretty well in lighting and color, or making it very difficult for me by finding images that don't match each other at all. And for this week the lucky artist is my fellow friend Aaron from Aaron Visuals on Instagram. This guy has some awesome edits on his page and is a true master in blending. Make sure to check him out. So Aaron was very excited to find me some nice pictures and he did. For the first image, this is a pretty good center image and this will probably be the main subject. Then we have this cop car which I can probably use. This could probably be a part of the environment. This too, so I'm gonna have to choose. <laughs> this adds up nicely to the first image, so that's good. Oh yeah, great. And this, well, these photos don't really line up, which means it's gonna be quite tricky, I'm afraid. <laughs> now let's take a look at the rules. I must create everything from scratch inside one hour. I have to use at least one part of every image the artist sent me. I may not add any other images myself, and I may only use Photoshop and Camera Raw or Lightroom. So there you have it, I have the clock ready, so let's count it down. As soon as I started, I decided that this image should be the main environment. On the left of that, I added the neon image because I couldn't see any other use for it at this time. I also tried to make the windows a bit transparent. When I had this done, I added the car to the right of the image, so that at least the composition looks decent. Then I put in my main subject, the scary badass looking guy, and cut him out too. What's funny, I kept using the pen tool for masking even though I was fully aware I might not have enough time for this. In the main room I added the other two soldiers. These I did not cut out with a pen tool, but simply with quick selection. Then I added the girl right in front of these two guys, but apparently that looks a bit violent, so let's just assume this woman did something very terrible and she's being held captive. Here I cut out the windows of my main room so that I was able to add the final image as the outside environment. Now that everything was in place, I could finally start color correcting stuff. Because so far it took me almost 15 minutes. Now if you wonder how does he do this so quick, let's just say when you use Photoshop like every day, you'll get the hang of it real fast. So now I started messing with some levels, color balance, solid colors and use saturation for shadows. Obviously the girl was a pain in the ass since she's very weirdly lit. I also added a slight depth of field to give the whole thing a bit more dimension. I used Blur Gallery for this. Then I also added a pink solid color to give the light a nice glow and bloom. I also turned on the lights of the cop car because I wanted to have two main colors, blue and pink. Then the magic started, the highlights. First the blue side of the subject, then the pink. The idea of making highlights was very risky in the first place since most of the time it's very time consuming. I just had to make sure I didn't go too precise about it.
also wanted to have some smoke in there, so I made new solid colors and painted their masks with a mist brush. To make sure I had enough time for it, I opened the camera raw filter panel and made my usual adjustments. And finally, since I still had a few minutes left, I added my super cool secret way of adding even more cool highlights. Tutorial coming soon. Okay, so spare me the details of all the things that are wrong about this image. Considering I had to pull this off in an hour, I think I did quite okay. If you like this series, make sure to let me know by liking this video or leaving a comment down below. And if you enjoy this content, you may always hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you don't miss anything. And then I hope I will see you in my next video.